are different from uh, a lot of other companies. Uh, we do as much manufacturing as possible in our own facilities. We have about 100,000 square feet of uh, GMP registered facilities, and about 90% of our product is manufactured in-house. I think we're able to you know, ensure the quality of the product by doing everything in-house. Everything is quality first when it comes to manufacturing. Sometimes it may not make sense to buy expensive equipment that only does one minor function, but the bulk of the manufacturing is done by ourselves. We have to design and build all of our own equipment. It's not like there's a yellow book, Harvesting for Dummies, and we've had to come up with our own innovative ways to harvest and process algae. So we're actually very fortunate. We have a group of talented engineers and fabricators that build and maintain our harvesters and other equipment. It's very cool that we have the equipment that we do have at this facility because we're pretty much able to bottle or manufacture uh, most of anything that we want. So we design our own equipment. We have our own fabrication shop. We fabricate all of our own equipment. We assemble all of our own equipment as well as we operate it once it comes time to actually put it into use. So Mizarma was our first harvester. We did a prototype, expanded on that idea, and built a harvester that has nine screens across the front of it that have a belt-type conveyor system for collecting the algae and retrieving it out of the surface water of the lake. Then we wanted to expand on the technology, get better, so we did some prototype work, and from that came the Shasta. It involves a different kind of technology for getting the filaments of algae out of the lake surface water and harvesting it. It's very effective, and it's the direction we want to go. So after a successful year last year, we have expanded to this boat here, but it's four times the capacity of what the Shasta was last year, and that's the direction we're moving. We're able to put the same guys who fabricated it, welded it, put it in place, test ran it. Those are also the operators who run it day to day, are familiar with the sounds, are familiar with what it can handle and what it really can't handle. So it keeps us out of trouble as far as breakdowns and having problems that are unforeseen. We have applied for this technology and it's still in the patent office. We need to work through that process and that's a lengthy process. So we hope to have a patent on this technology soon. By all means, we want to harvest and capitalize on the algae at the peak of the growth cycle when it's as fresh as possible and most viable. So if we can put all three boats to work at the same time, that's definitely what we're going to do. We take a lot of pride in getting the algae to the freezer as quick as possible. And we're able to freeze that algae within about two and a half hours of the liquid going actually on the shelf and get it out and get the next algae in. So it's a very fast process and we can do a lot of volume in a single day. After the algae is harvested, it's sent back to this facility to be frozen. Once it's frozen and calculated as far as weight goes in totes, it's sent out to be dried once it's gone through its drying process, it's sent back here, and once it's tested and released, as far as powder goes, uh, those samples are sent to R&D where they do identity testing, uh, microbial testing, things like that. Once that is cleared, that mix or blend is returned back to us so we can start our process of encapsulating. We do most of our quality control testing internally. Uh, that way we can have quick turnaround times and we can isolate problems very quickly. And another big important point is we have really good understanding of the intricacies of test protocols. All tests are not created equal. Some tests work better than others. And so it works to our advantage to understand analytical testing. We also use third-party labs that are certified to verify our test results. Third-party labs have no vested interest in the outcome of a test. So they're unbiased, so we really feel like we can trust their data. So by bringing a third boat on with four times the capacity of the Shasta, it definitely puts us into a growth type mentality. We're able to grow and put more product into inventory, and that way we can service 
more growth, um, sales, whatever we need to do, we'll have the inventory on hand. For us to have all of the control when we're bottling, I think it's very important. One, we're putting on the correct label. Two, we have R&D or QC that's going through their steps, making sure that the quality's there. Uh, everything's done in-house from start to finish, and that's why we do it. We've all seen those news reports of supplements not containing what they're supposed to contain, uh, but by doing our own manufacturing, we can really maintain a very high level of product quality.